Alona, right now we know Houston police are fielding calls from across this country, many asking how did Alexis Sharkey's body end up here on the street on Saturday morning. At the very same time, HPD homicide detectives are actively instructing people close to the case not to talk about this investigation and they are remaining tight-lipped about their probe into her life and death. On Instagram, 26-year-old Alexis Sharkey seemed to be living the best life a happy, carefree traveler who adored making memories. In interviews this week, you've only seen here on Eyewitness News, her husband, Tom Sharkey, told me, that's not a true reflection. She was stressed. It was a facade. Her friends who called her Lex described her as unapologetically herself, authentic and raw. The biggest thing is I don't want her character to be slandered because she deserves so much better than that. And um, I, I really want me to make sure people know that. She had no demons. No. She didn't have demons. And I know that's what people are speculating. And that's, that's not what it was. She was literally one of the people that I think had the most life in her. There's two tales emerging this afternoon about Alexis and Tom Sharkey's marriage. Friends who've said it was on the rocks, her husband, who called it strong, telling me Alexis was his life partner and they were not filing for divorce. We've learned the nature of that marriage is now part of HPD's investigation. Detectives working to learn the truth. The couple lived here at this apartment complex off the Katy Freeway, just west of the belt. About three miles down the feeder road, here on what any other day would be a forgotten street, Red Hall, a dump truck driver spotted Alexis's body Saturday morning. And I have no question in the core of my being that there, um, I just, I mean, there's someone out there that knows what happened. Alexis's mother, Stacy Robinault, spoke with me about the devastating loss, saying at the center of her being, she believes her daughter was murdered. I just, I think they're still trying to piece that together. It, it's, it's just feels so disjointed. And, and the way she was found just, I, I can't, I can't wrap my brain around what happened. And so, no, I don't have any, I don't have any good information at all, which is, which is very painful. Eric and Alona, so many watching this very closely. What I can tell you right now is that there's tons of clear surveillance video here in this area. We know HPD homicide detectives have that footage. They are going through it, and it may be key in cracking this case. We also know that the medical examiner here in Harris County has not ruled a cause of death yet. They told us today that they are still working on a thorough exam and did not have a time frame for when a matter of death or manner of death rather will be available and is she ever like is it like her to not have her cell phone with her no. or any of the like have you talked to the like oh my gosh this was not there this is not there this was no she is attached to her phone she is a social media queen she's an influencer she works from her phone like i said if if i was in trouble she would be the first person i would call um and we called and called and called and called and her phone was on and her messages were being sent um, but not being read because she had her read receipts on. And then until yesterday is when her phone was shut off by whoever has it, or, you know, maybe it was thrown somewhere and it finally died. But I mean, when we realized that her social media was not active for over 12 hours, we were like, okay, That's this is not right. right. Yeah, yeah. this is not right. And were you in...